Hey, what's going on, family? I would like to thank everybody for their prayers, their positive words, and all the, the wonderful things, you know, the blessings that you're sending my way. Unfortunately, I'm not able to respond to everyone because I just got out and it's really, really hectic. But I did have an opportunity to visit some troubled youth in my old neighborhood. And me, my wife, and my friend Shalborn, we had an opportunity to speak to them and, you know, get, get a vibe on how things are going. And it was a really, really wonderful experience, and it was kind of challenging. Um, they say that to whoever much is given, much is required. So I fortunately was able to give back five life sentences thanks to my judge, the Honorable Judge Frederick Block. And now that I've given back those life sentences, I don't want anyone to feel that my job is over. Actually, my job just begun. I made a promise when I was incarcerated that I would live my life in service of others, doing whatever I could possibly do to help other individuals elevate themselves. So that's my mission in life today. So anyone who is actively involved in bringing about a positive change for our communities and for our children and for the elderly, hey, I'm with you. Please not, don't be afraid to contact me at CoachCocoKids at gmail.com. That's my wife and my partner. Um, I would just like to also say that I appreciate every individual who is within the communities working to, 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 to heal the communities and make our communities a better place. You know, since I've been home, I see that there are people who are striving and doing things to better our communities. And I really, really appreciate that. And I'm here to work with you guys. So I look forward to working with you guys. God bless you. Yo, what's up, Brian? I appreciate you, man, for welcoming me home. Thank you very much. Tut also got out. Yeah, shout out to King Tut. I just yeah. seen him in a picture with Murder, Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, King Tut allegedly shot Tupac. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. He was sentenced to five life terms for violent robberies. Right. He was actually the only person ever sentenced to mandatory life in prison out of the Eastern District of New York under the three strikes law. But what had happened was the judge that sentenced him felt that this was an overly harsh sentence. Definitely. You know? and, 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 and and at the same time, when you got dream team lawyers like at the winning circle, like, you know what I'm saying? White Tellenbach will sent you murder. 50 got the dream team because, you know, he had good lawyers and he got out. That's what sometimes, you know, it comes down to. So that's what happened with like, that's like my, That's like my man El Dorado and his brother Leek. They, they uncle was Ronnie Bump. Like, we trying to get him out because he got, like, 100 years really for, like, robbing banks and robbing niggas. And he been in for, like, 35. Yeah. So, you know, and I think they got this three-strike rule right now where, like, they come on, like, harsh time. Like, yeah, well, they're going back. And basically, yeah. the judge said that he <laughs> Some felt dude's that got 100 a... years. You got to think, 100 years? Come on, bro. Like, if you, like, Ronnie Bump, for instance, my man, uncle, that's, he been in 35 years. Yeah. Crazy. It's like, come on, man. Right, because the judge said that he felt it was an overly harsh sentence, and he said that over time, the, the sentencing climate has changed. Right. He felt that it would be right to actually let him out early. So right. he ended up doing 27 years total. Yeah, 27 years is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Tut deserved to be out. And shout out to him, shout out to Murder, shout out to Sleepy Hollow, Chef, White, the whole winning circle, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you just deserve to be out. Any accusations anybody made, I don't know nothing about. Hey, y'all, good day, good day, good day. Let's get straight to it. Y'all just got finished listening to my man, Welcome Home, 
King Tut Walter Johnson. You know, just served 27 years. And you know what? You heard the shout out, you know, right now. He told me thank you for welcoming him home. You know what? Hey, man, you're welcome. And then you hear right now is what his attention, what he's planning on doing with his newfounded freedom. Basically giving back. Getting out there, coaching, counseling, training. You know, the same thing that he was doing in the penitentiary. How many kids, young guys, young men, life he saved while he was in the penitentiary, helping them get their GED, helping them become self-aware and stopping the madness or picking up that brick, throwing at that prison wall for absolutely nothing. And like I say right now, then you listen to, as far as right now, Vlad, you know what I'm saying, Tony Yayo, and you listen to the conversation. And right now, folks, listen, man, even when they speak about certain things, what he did, what he didn't do, you wasn't there. I wasn't there. Vlad wasn't there. Tony Yeo wasn't there. So really, only person know what really took place in these situations is Tut and the people that was involved. So once again, you can go with all the speculation. Unless you was there, unless you seen it with your own eyes, you know what? You can't speak on it. Let he or she, while sin, cast the first stone. The man spent 27 years in. 27 years in. So regardless of what, with all the constructive criticism, like I said, let that man live his life, man. What, Like I told you, it's a lot of S-H-I-T I did back in the days that I am ashamed of. I wish I never did. What is done is done. I ask for forgiveness each and every day. But once again, we have to stop with the nonsense. We have to stop with the BS. And you know what? Shout out to Tony Yayo. Because once again, like I said, the way he responded, when he started speaking about certain situations, circumstances, you know what? He's like, look, I don't know nothing about that. You know what? I like that. He bowed gracefully, man. Hey, folks, listen, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to Walter King Tut Johnson, new YouTube page and make sure right now is that anyone that's out there as he's saying anybody that's out there that want to work he's open if you got a hell of a game plan and y'all want to work and y'all in the metropolitan area you know Brooklyn Queens Manhattan Bronx Staten Island even upstate New York even New Jersey Connecticut whatever he's letting you know reach out to his wife who's his business partner let's work Let's save these kids. Let's stop them from picking up that brick, throwing at that prison wall for absolutely nothing. Hey, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. If I, the real Brian Glaze Gibbs, can change, anybody can change. Welcome home, my brother. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love.